welcome to Yoga Today. My name's Amanda Botour. In this quick tip, we're gonna be talking about Shalambhasan or locust pose, and Chris is gonna be demonstrating for us some of the alignment cues that will help us. So if you wanna come onto your belly, we'll start there. What I love for you to feel here is feel the grounding. It's a slight um, tightening of the buttocks. So just tone the buttocks slightly and see if you can lengthen the tailbone down towards the heels. Just relax your arms by your sides and press the pubic bone into the mat. From here, relax, 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 relax. Soften the brow and with the in breath, roll the shoulder blades back behind the heart and see if you can bring the shoulders off the ground and the feet at the same time. Heart is reaching forward as the feet are reaching back, so no compression in the lower spine here. Keep pressing the pubic bone in and stay soft, so as the breath comes in, you'll feel you'll rise up a little bit more. As you exhale, soften a little bit. There's a few variations that you can do here. You can interlace the hands behind you and open the heart forward. Again, if you feel any compression on the low spine, just come down a tiny bit. You can also lower one leg, yes, and reach the heart out of the pelvis, and you can switch legs, beautiful, and then lower down. It's really important in Shalabhasana to make sure that you're not reaching with the chin, but that the, the gaze or the face is in the extension of where the heart is looking, so it's a real organic rising of where the energy of the chin should be. So too far forward and you break in the neck here. So I'd like for the neck to stay long, but you're also still reaching. I hope you've enjoyed this quick tip. For full length classes, please visit yogatoday.com. Thank you so much for joining us. Namaste.